Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the light mass replace node. So let me go ahead and pull this up and we'll cover what the light mass replace node is for. Basically, light mass is the static lighting system. It's what we use in order to build our static lighting. So for example, on this floor here, if I was to take and replace my material with white, and then I needed, let's say, this image here, and I moved it. You notice our shadow is not moving. Well, our shadow is built with static lighting, and it's built based on the light mass system. So if I was to now build this, it's going to basically replace all of our existing shadows with new shadows. So you're going to see this down here move over to the side because we've changed it. Now you can also see, because I'm using a translucent material here, it's giving us this little checkered pattern effect. But let's say that's not what we wanted. Let's say we wanted it to be different, either more simpler or, you know, for artistic purposes, we want it to be different. Or we need to adjust it because we have some issues, such as our light mass is using reflection and that's not what we want shown. So that is what our light mass replacement node is for. So here's the node here, and it simply has two inputs what happens when it's real time and what happens when you're using light mass and it has an output and it'll choose so for example here all i'm doing is taking this texture and outputting it for the base color and the opacity mask and that's why we get this for our texture and this for our shadow now i want to change our shadow i don't want it to look like that i want it to look different so what i'm doing here is i'm telling it to in real time it's going to show this texture here which means we're going to get this for our shadow. And in light mass, we're going to give it a one or we're going to feed in a solid for our opacity mask. So let's go ahead and apply this. We'll let it build. Now you're not going to see any difference because we haven't rebuilt our lighting yet. You're going to see the same for our texture here and the same for our shadow. But let's go ahead and rebuild. And hopefully you can guess at what we're going to see. Now instead of passing through this checkered pattern for our opacity mask, we're passing in a solid, and you're seeing we now have a solid shadow. Light mass, when it built, it used this for the texture instead of this to determine the opacity, and therefore, we now have a solid texture. So that's it. That is what the light mass replace node is used for. It's a very specific node. It has specific uses. If you if you're not getting the desired result when you're using light mass because something else is affecting it, maybe you have an issue with world position node or you have some other material effect affecting it, light mass replace will let you determine exactly what light mass sees for this material so you can get the desired result. If you have any questions or answers, quest answers. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below.